Hey, what's up guys? This is Winston and today I have a lightsaber. No, actually it's a Thermaltake Pacific RGB fitting on the uh, hard tube. Yes, this is the uh, hard tube. 16mm outer diameter and 12mm inner diameter with the Thermaltake RGB fitting with uh, lots of cycling colors. Yes, uh, 256 colors altogether. But um, yeah, so uh, we'll be doing a quick unboxing and see how this thing works. So, we'll see you later. And here we have the uh, Thermaltake Pacific RGB hard tube fitting. It has 256 colors and suitable for all PETG hard tubes with the outer diameter 60 millimeter or inner diameter 12 millimeter. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, inside of the box. All right, we have um, some uh, the uh, instruction warranty. We also have, please read before installing some uh, installation uh, manual here. Okay, oh, yeah, the uh, RGB controller. Okay, and uh, here it is. This is the RGB controller. Um, runs on a, I say four pin, but it's two pin, but it's the uh, Molex connector. Um, controls the uh, brightness and mode. So I'm guessing you have different uh, color modes there and customize. And three, uh, four pin, output for the uh, RGB all right so that's the controller and let's have a look at the fittings we have six in total okay let's take one of these out and have a look it looks quite uh, cumbersome right but um, it has the controller connector there four pin okay and um, I'm guessing, yeah, you're gonna have a lot of these wires dangling around, but with good cable management, I'm sure you can uh, do something with it. There's the uh, the fitting itself, the, the G quarter thread, and uh, the tubing fits right in, I'm guessing, yep. Okay, so we'll get a, a sample tube and then we'll put it in there. All right, let's get this open and check it out, what's inside, all right. Okay, wow. Um, if you take that off, it's basically, there's a little PCB board, a circuit board there with the, the R LEDs. Uh, I can see it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So six LEDs in total, um, which gives you that RGB effect. Uh, yeah this is the circuit board and it has a washer some sort of protective uh, washer there yeah i can see that right there um, but nothing else covering that so it has two o-rings right here i'm guessing the uh, 12 millimeter outer uh, inner and 60 millimeter fitting uh, tube will go in there and then this uh, clamps was on all right you have six of these uh, which is okay which is uh, should be enough I think for most mods you get more if you want um, I noticed there's a daisy chain as well so imagine if we can get another one out here uh, I suppose we could uh, kind of daisy chain this right I'm not sure if that actually is it meant to be like that but anyway um, this will actually fit directly to the four pin of the controller so I'm guessing you must be able to daisy chain them so um, yeah I'm guessing you should we will give that a go later uh, in the video all right so let's get a, a a tubing and, and and see how that fits okay so 
There's your uh, RGB fitting G quarter thread with a 16 millimeter outer diameter and a 12 millimeter inner diameter. So I'll get a, a sample tubing to see how it fits. All right, here we have the uh, the Thermaltic Pacific RGB fitting. We have two of them on display right now, and also the uh, RGB controller. And also we have the uh, PETG hard tube. This is the uh, 16 millimeter outer diameter with 12 millimeter inner diameter. Um, I've shaved the uh, the edges here so that it fits nicely. So with the uh, Thermaltic. Uh, hard tube bending kit you'll be able to uh, shave the uh, ends to make it uh, uh, the edges more smooth so that you can actually make the fitting insertion easier all right so uh, let's give this a try um, okay so and it goes there you go. it's uh, nicely it just slots in there so you notice there's um, there's not a lot of other things to do apart from just insert it into the fitting and uh, as you as I mentioned earlier the actual if you unscrew this you can see now how that fits see the uh, the o-rings there's two of them that helps then prevent leaks and then uh, actually I could just push that even more to make it more nice and snug and this is where the LED shines through through the tube so that it gives you that effect okay just put that nice in here you go nice and uh, tight there and then obviously this can go over this like that nice and squeak there you go there you go so uh, we're gonna power this up and show you the uh, the lighting effects on the uh, uh, thermaltic rgb the pacific rgb uh, fitting and see how the RGB controller gives this tubing uh, some nice RGB lighting effects. Okay. All right, so uh, as you can see, we wired up everything. So this is the uh, RGB controller, and this is wired through to the, uh, the four pin Molex of the power supply. Um, then this one goes into the actual RGB fitting right here. I've got a stop valve here, um, which obviously I've got some liquid, as you can see. Uh, the uh, hard tube has some liquid in here. You can see it's some liquid. And um, we will shall power this up and see what it looks like. And uh, we'll go through some of the, the color effects. All right, so here comes the power. Right away, you can see that it has a nice blue color to start off with. And uh, RGB controller can control the brightness here, uh, the different modes, and obviously customize. So um, let's have a look at some of the, the colors. You can change them. See, there's a red, there's a blue, kind of clear, um, kind of reddish orange, um, kind of amber, yellow, then purple, blue, and green, and different. And then you can obviously customize it and you can let it kind of cycle through the uh, colors. This one has uh, 256 colors. Um, it looks very nice actually so imagine um, if you had a nice uh, a nice tint of um, you know a kind of dye in, in the actual coolant um, this is just water at the moment but imagine you can have nice UV um, dyes or um, opaque coolant so it look uh, it will look very good uh, I'm gonna see if you can see through that See that there? It does look very nice. So imagine um, if I switch the lights off, you will see the actual effect. And I'll do that right now. Switch the lights off. All right. You can see how very nice that actually looks. So this is the, uh, the thermal take RGB, Pacific RGB hard tube fittings look how nice that is okay so obviously um, it has a lot of wires of this uh, for the for the RGB lights but then uh, 
if you're good at cable management, I'm sure you can tuck those cables away. But yeah, you can see how nice the uh, lighting effect is. Um, great for RGB fans. If you're not a fan of RGB, then obviously, um, you know, this is not really for you. But uh, here you go. This is the uh, the Pacific, the Thermaltake Pacific RGB hard tube fitting for the uh, 16 millimeter uh, uh, outer diameter and 12 millimeter inner diameter PETG hard tubes.